Hello and welcome back to my channel. Since I shared footage of a creative level I'd put together themed entirely around classic Tomb Raider titles, the feedback and response I've received on those videos has been fantastic, so much so that I opened up a series of private sessions to allow users showing a keen interest online to come play this map prior to publishing. I want to say a huge thank you to the countless players who have jumped in to join my party and have since taken on the classic Tomb Raider challenge at the Temple of Xion. After receiving such an overwhelming response online, we'd originally planned to incorporate a multiplayer option into this map, but due to time restraints and limitations on the memory thermometer, we chose to incorporate a secondary mode focusing more on the game style of modern Tomb Raider titles. So today we are here to showcase some of the major updates taking place in this map, including an updated look around the new Temple of Xion, major quest updates and the implementation of a ranking system, pre-lobby updates and the introduction of the all-new modern mode, featuring Fortnite's new makeshift weaponry. Let's start with the pre-lobby. The pre-lobby has just received a huge overhaul to provide a much more visually appealing lobby to enter the island on. We've included a mini trail for players to explore and play around on to get a taster of what's to come in the main game. There is now the inclusion of the special thanks plaque listing the names of all the players who have played this level prior to the publishing or have helped support the development of this map in its early stages. Matchmaking windows have also been implemented, providing links to other related Tomb Raider titles such as Mystery at Croft Manor and the Croft Manor Hub. Once leaving the pre-lobby, the player is loaded into the main game where they will find themselves atop a singular platform inside the tomb. If the player were to turn around, they will now be presented with an available quest list and the choice of two available game modes, Classic and Modern. Classic allows the player to play through the map using the game style of Classic Tomb Raider titles, with dual wielding pistols and the use of medkits for healing. In this mode, the player has full access to the crafting bench, but does not have access to the bow making ability nor setting up base camp. The player will rely on salvage piles to find ammo and use scrap to craft more. Modern mode allows the player to play through the map using the modernized game style of Tomb Raider, with a bow and arrow and the use of campfires for healing. In this mode, the player has full access to the crafting bench and the ability to upgrade bows and set up base camp. The player can upgrade their bow using items dropped from relevant creatures found around the map. The player will also rely on salvage piles to find arrows and use scrap to find more. The available quests all contribute to the total level completion and act as your guides to completing this map. As you progress through the level, you will notice your score increasing. To obtain 100% in this map, you will need to achieve all three main quests set out at the beginning of the game, and the two hidden quests to obtain the full 100% completion. This quest system and the option of two game modes now provides a larger amount of replayability, as well as providing variety and choice for the player. The map itself has received a huge overhaul in terms of visuals and extras. It was essential to implement the system set up for this game before applying cosmetics due to the limitations we may face with the memory thermometer, but with the game system set up, tried and tested, we can now finally start dressing the set. The entire map from end to end has now been completely revamped and updated to really improve the visual quality of this map. All dead space has been filled, more light sources have been added, more plant life, more rockery, more rubble, more everything. The whole level has been dressed up top to tail to really submerge you into the world of Tomb Raider. After passing through the final portal, the player is now presented with a final rank based on their gameplay and the amount of quests the player completed throughout the level. This will provide a level of replayability with the desire to go back and find whatever you missed the first time. All in all, this level has drastically improved since I originally shared the video and I am so grateful for the fantastic response I've received about it online. The more support I receive here really helps me to push these maps to epic, so please do like, subscribe, comment, come and play while it's unpublished, everything you do really helps me to drive these ideas in the future. Well, I guess that's all from me, and all that's left to say is, much love and stay gaming.